Marlins hosting the Pirates, and the Pirates are plus 140 on the money line. The Marlins are minus 170. The over-under, eight runs. The Pirates getting a run, uh, a run and a half on the run line are minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you'd win. And the Marlins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Of course, I picked the Pirates today. Keller picks a, pitches a great game, and then we get to the bottom of the eighth, and yeah, the bullpen blows it, so... Thank you, Pirates, for that. Now, neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Pirates are 2-6 and six as a team in Ortiz's last eight starts. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 3.3 strikeouts per game in those games. The Marlins are 6-4 and four as a team with Lazardo on the mound in his last 10 starts. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 6.2 strikeouts per game on those games. So he's a guy you may want to keep an eye out for on the K-line. Now head-to-head, the home team's 5-5. Five and five. The Marlins are on a two-game winning streak. The Marlins are 6-4 and four against the Pirates in the last 10. The favorite has won the last two games. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There have been six one-run games in their last 10. The over has hit in their last two. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the over 8 specifically is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The game they played today, the Marlins won 6-4. The game before that, the Marlins won 6-5. The game before that, the Pirates won one nothing, And the game before that, the Marlins won 8-1. to one. The Marlins have won five out of the last six games they've played against the Pirates. Now in their last handful of games overall, the Pirates are now on a 10-game losing streak. They over is 6-4 in their last 10 games. We've got 8 runs, 4 runs, 11 runs, and 10 runs. Back-to-back shutout loss, 3 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss. For the Marlins, when it decides that it wants to load for me here, are 6-4 in their last 10. The over is 6-4 in their last 10. They are 2-2 in their last 4. 11 runs, 2 runs, 9 runs, 10 runs. 11 runs and a win, shut out and a loss. 3 runs and a loss, 6 runs and a win. This will probably be a winning streak that the Marlins will rattle off because seemingly they play well against the Pirates. Marlins with the money line. I want to say to take the Pirates with the runs, but Ortiz doesn't go deep enough in the games for me to do that. So I'm going to take the Marlins laying the runs and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.